Happy Sunday! So I am back with a update or a life update and so I am trying to convince hubby Chris to be in the video with me. Huh? You trying to talk to dad dad? Huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you starting to talk, huh? Uh-huh. What are you trying to tell dad dad? Huh? Yeah, you silly girl. <laughs> Trying to tell dad dad. Gonna be daddy girl uh -huh. number two. What are you trying to say? Huh? Oh. Oh. Yeah. You happy? <laughs> are you happy? You happy little girl? Yeah. Yeah. You trying to talk to dad dad? Yeah, what are you trying to say? Oh. Uh-huh. What are you trying to say? Huh? You trying to talk to Dad? Huh? So I convinced the hubby <laughs> to come on here and talk and update and chit chat while we're kind of eating lunch a little bit. Um and Everly is behind us right now eating her food. Yummy, huh? Say hi. <laughs> she me mugging. Yeah. Say hi. Nee, yummy, yummy in your tummy. Let's get on with this update. So, update it. So how? <sighs> this is the first pregnancy that Chris was actually here to see Avery born because he was on deployment when Everly was born. So, um, I'm going to get into more detail about how I got into, um, into labor and stuff, but... I just wanted to see how Chris' reaction is whenever KK told you I was uh, my water broke. What were you thinking in that moment? <laughs> I mean, I was playing games. I already knew she was gonna pop soon, but not at that moment. <laughs> so whenever she said she, her water break out broke, and I was like, all right. I just I was streaming, so I was like, well, I gotta go. I turned it off, and then we just went straight to the hospital after that. It was on my birthday too, so. Yep. Avery was about to come on Chris' birthday on December 11th, but she held out for like, what, 20 minutes or like 12 minutes, and then she was born on December 12th. 2020, huh? She really wanted to come out. Um, but I'm going to get into, like I said, I'm going to get into more detail of my birth story later on just because I don't want this video to be super, super long. Um, but mainly, so what's the, so how does it feel to have two daughters, honey? Two um, under two. It's kind of weird or different, I guess, since this one. We're kind of used to Everly, how she kind of is already. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like forgetting how to take care of this girl again. So it's kind of like... Starting over? Yeah, but it's more like, not really tiring, but more like mentally tiring. Because... You're finally done with this one, but then this one starts crying, and so you just have to take care of both of them at the same time. So, I don't know. For me, it's not really physically tired, it's just more mentally. But you take care of that one most of the time anyway, so. Yeah, ever since, like, we popped out, or er, we popped her out. Ever since I popped out Avery, we've kind of assigned daughters. <laughs> Basically, he takes care of Everly, and I take care of this chunk chunk just because... I'm having to pump breast milk and then on top of that, you know, feed this one. But she's on the bottle, so it's not really too tiring as much as her having to be on the boob. Do you think we should have waited on having Chunky Chuck? Do you think we should have waited a little bit longer? No, I don't think so. You think we had her at a perfect time? Right. I wouldn't say perfect time, but you can't really plan everything perfectly. True. That's a good time. They're a good age, close together, so. So how would you say, like, Everly is with Avery? Uh, Everly doesn't pay <laughs> Avery any attention. She doesn't care. Like, 
Yeah. Literally, she's like crying next to us. <laughs> Everly just like sitting there watching TV, like whatever. Like, <laughs> she doesn't care. Which is true. Everly is more of like she's so independent at this age where she's kind of like, I watch my TV, she stay in that lane, I stay in my lane type deal. I mean, there are times where she kind of see us like give affection to Avery, but it's mainly when him, when he gives affection to this one, she's just like, oh, hell no, that's my day. <laughs> but overall, she's really sweet. You know, she gives Avery kisses, you know, just randomly. We don't really tell her to give her kisses as much or anything. She just shows her affection when she wants to. But Everly, she is about to be 19 months. And so she's kind of getting to the age where, like I said, she is, you know, she plays on her own and stuff like that. And, but she kind of grew up like that too. She wasn't really dependent on us, really, um, when it comes to like playing and stuff. The only time she really bugs me and Chris is usually whenever um, like she needs to burp or change diaper or something like that. It was so crazy because right when we got to the ER, like I started feeling the contractions like really, really bad. And you know, I was just breathing through it and stuff like that. And Chris was just nonchalant, just like, oh, it's okay, you know? <laughs> Cause this is first pregnancy, like birth. Like he never really, he wasn't there with me with Everly. And so this one, he just didn't know how to like, <laughs> you didn't know how to act, honey. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> for the most part, it didn't look like you're really in pain or anything. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you kind of like a little contraction, sure, but it wasn't at that point. It was like, oh crap, I need to get there as soon as possible because you're just like, yeah, I'm having contraction or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you're just like barely feeling it. It looked like your facial expression barely showed anything. So I was like, okay, you're fine. Uh, but then when we got there, they're like, oh yeah, you're like this whatever centimeter dilated. So the first nurse that checked, she didn't think you were like that close, I guess. Mm -hmm. to pop so when we, whenever we got there pretty sure you're like at least eight or like six or something like pretty high up there and then when they finally admitted you to the delivery room you're already at 10 <laughs> and then you're like i want the upper do i was like no you gotta push girl like you're already at 10 and then next thing you know this chunk chunk comes out and like like five minutes of you pushing mm-hmm it was so like, it was crazy. It was just like when we got there and then we were checked in and then, you know, the doctor has to check me cause it was like the, the nurse, like the head nurse, but she couldn't really like admit me in to labor and delivery because you know, the doctor has to check to see how many centimeters you are and then end up, you know, she checked me and then she was just like, um, I still have to wait for the doctor. So then they waited for the on-call doctor. Doctor never checked me because I was like, I need to push. Like, it felt like I had to take a poop. And I was like, oh no. I was like, honey, you need to tell them, like, I'm about to push, like, really bad. And so the, the, uh, the top nurse, she finally checked me and she was like, oh, you're seven centimeters. And I was like, I was like, oh, hell no. I was like, give me that epidural now, honey. And so they were transporting me to the labor and delivery room. Or they finally admitted me in and then they were just like, um, and I told Chris too, I was like, honey, I need that epidural, like I need it. And then, you know, because I knew with my first one with Everly, it was easy with the epidural. Like I didn't feel nothing, like all I had to do was just push and it, it was breezy. But then this one, I was like, I felt like I was about to have a hemorrhoid. Like that's how bad I had to push. So the first nurse, they checked you or she checked you and she said that she was seven centimeters or whatever. Then whenever we went to the admitted room or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like the actual doctor checked it and she's like, she's there, you're already at 10. So either the first one messed up or you just instantly got to 10 like in like five minutes. She didn't even, he didn't even tell me I was at 10 centimeters. You know, nobody told me I was at 10 centimeters. They just told me, if you need to push, then push. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay. It's cause you kept saying I need, you wanted the epidural. <laughs> yeah, I wanted the epidural. Cause if I hear seven, I'm like, okay, once I'm past eight or once I'm even at seven, they won't give it to you. And so I was just like, just give it to me. And then they were just like, okay, well, let me order the, let me order the epidural. And then all of a sudden I was just like, no, forget it. I was like, just let me push. I really need to push. And they just, yeah, they didn't tell me nothing. They didn't tell me I was at 10 centimeters. <laughs> 
Chris just told me push. And I was like, okay. And I pushed. And during that pushing, I don't remember nothing. It was really quick. Maybe you only did like five, maybe five pushes. And then she was already out. Oh, uh, we should really tell them about that. <laughs> That accidental thing where they all <laughs> where they all came <laughs> where they all came into the room yeah. like like SWAT. <laughs> so, <coughs> so the nurse she was backing some equipment up and then accidentally unplugged one of their emergency um, switches, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then pretty much saying like, cause they just um, closed up her, uh, cause she was bleeding, so they just sutured her up. And then like literally two minutes later after everyone left, I'm like, all right, fine, we're done. She stopped bleeding. They finished with the surgery. Um, that little switch came out, and then next thing you know, everybody, <laughs> like literally everyone that was in the room, because it was like maybe 10, 15 people. Yeah. They just someone opened a door, and they're all back, like <laughs> just like a movie. So like everyone's back there looking like, holy shit, like what happened? And so it was, it was pretty crazy. It felt just like out of a movie. It was, so I don't know. It was just like I I remember that part. I was just like, oh my god. They just slowly backed away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the nurse was like, oh, that was an accident. And they were like, okay. <laughs> they just... was like, they're all freaking out. That was normal. So how does it feel like actually watching Avery like pop out? I've watched videos of birth before, so it wasn't too crazy. But definitely a little weird. Uh, the most weird thing that I saw was the freaking placenta, I think. <laughs> yeah, the placenta. <laughs> like the sack that the baby, like Avery was in, that was, that's the placenta. Like she pulled that out, I was like, is that her intestines? Like, <laughs> I was like, what the heck? I was like, uh-oh. But yeah, that thing was huge. I was like, that thing was inside of your stomach? I was like, oh no. Because it looked like it was bigger than her, I'm pretty sure. Because it's holding her, right? So mm -hmm. it, I guess it is bigger. Mm -hmm. So it just, I was like, oh no. <laughs> can't believe I pushed this girl out with no pain meds and no epidural like like when she like there was I'm gonna get into like I'm gonna show I'm gonna give my side of the story of how the birth story went but when they say the ring of fire that that thing was the ring of fire like I, I tell you that so just make sure you stay tuned for that I think I'm gonna end the video just cuz I like I said I didn't want the video to be super long and you know hubby has other things to do and Everly should be almost done eating. More like giving the food to Taro. <laughs> a towel. A towel. Everly, you gonna wave? Say hi. Say hi. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you so cute, Mama. Bye. Bye, Bubble. Bye. Bye. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna end the video just because this one is asleep. I'm gonna put it down and then uh, finish eating. And so that is kind of a sneak peek of how <laughs> our birth story went with hubby's side of the view. It was just that was my first time cutting the umbilical cord, so um, yeah, it was cool. I mean, like I said. I didn't really cry or anything. You didn't really cry at all either. Because I guess this was your second one. You're like, all right. I'm glad to get it over with. She was literally shaking the entire time though. I don't um, even remember. Uh, <laughs> I blacked out on that part. <laughs> yeah, and whenever they're trying to check her like to see how much she was dilated, she just, she just kept shaking. And they're like, she keeps shaking. It's hard to like, test it or whatever. <laughs> you're just like shaking all the time. Like, oh crap, it looks like you're about to have a seizure. But you didn't without the epidural, so. Just stay tuned for another video of just me explaining my side of the story, how I felt with the second pregnancy. Um, not gonna have hubby in there, but anyways. Uh, hope you have a good Sunday, hope you have a good weekend. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you like this video and also comment down below if you have anything to say but or any other questions you want me to uh, answer whenever um you like glare. Yeah. They're like fix your glare in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed it at the very beginning but whatever. It's all right. Turn it off. Go, good girl. Full thigh? Full thigh? She forgot how to full thigh, honey. Well, I was Everything. Full thigh? Let go. <laughs> Let go, mama. Full thigh? No. Full thigh. Clap your hands. Full thigh? Mm. You gotta clap your hands, mama. <laughs> Mm-hmm.